Thanks for tuning in to Suhan Unfiltered at SuhanUnfiltered.com. We are live at O'Gara's tonight on a Friday night, 5 o'clock, here until 6 or 6.10 or so. It depends on when Dan Andy stops talking. Uh, we'll get out of here. want to thank O'Gara's for having us. A great place to do a podcast. Had my band play here last week, which was a blast, Dan. First time I've played in a couple of years. Uh, we're getting the boys together. We're going to play again next Friday. Next Friday we'll be doing a podcast at O'Gara's. Then the li- our, my band will play. Uh, the bar chords, and then following my band, the live karaoke band, Lee Bang, will play. It's it's kind of a hoot, Dan. we got to get you up there. See, what would you sing? What would you sing if we got you up on stage? Unless you do the Marilyn Monroe. I'd like to see you do the Marilyn Monroe version. Oh, yes, you could. It's just all a matter of how much alcohol is in your system. Well, I, I can I can kind of fake it. You got it, it, well, there's a lot of faking in rock and roll. You got to be able to fake playing guitar. Uh, so my guest is tonight is Dan Endy. I first got to know Dan when I moved to town to cover the Minnesota Vikings in 1990. Dan was what was your title at that point? PR director, PR assistant, vice president of director of communications. That's it. Yep. And uh, and earlier this week. I wrote about the death of Ed Sable, who who was the president of NFL Films, uh, maybe one of the great propaganda <laughs> enterprises in the history of modern man, uh, which has really helped popularize the NFL. And you and I corresponded, and you reminded me that your family was involved in that. And since we corresponded about your father's role in the NFL Films experience, uh, a mutual friend of ours has told me, that, you know, it might have been more than that. It might have been more that your dad was just kind of in the vicinity. Your dad might have actually had a lot to do with it. Maybe your dad didn't get as much credit as he should have for that that organization's success. Can you tell me the story? But I still felt bad because that you know I would rather localize even if it was just that your dad knew Ed Sable I would rather localize a national story than just you know write it the way I did it so I, I felt but I, I can honestly I'm old I can't remember if I it, I knew it and I forgot it or if I just didn't know it. Hmm. Yeah, 
Coat company, yeah. Yeah.